Mr. President, we have several uh, questions that have come up. I'll try to get to as many as I can. Uh, the first question is, uh, given Prime Minister Begin's settlement policies, do you believe he has lived up to the spirit of Camp David, and would you hope to work in the future with a less hardline leader? Uh, first of all, let me uh, state this. Begin is a friend. And uh, uh, friendship to me has got big dimensions. Uh, we have always discussed this uh, 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 settlements policy in the four times we met in Arish and Alexandria, Haifa, and Aswan. I told him my view quite candidly. Uh, but, as I said in, in my speech now, the settlement issue really is uh, an impeachment uh, uh, to the efforts that all of us uh, 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 is trying to fulfill for reaching the comprehensive settlement. Uh, let us hope that uh, after the talks of, pre of Premier Begin with uh, President Carter, uh, 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 some new developments take place uh, uh, so that we can uh, 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 continue uh, uh, to achieve the uh, final agreement of the comprehensive settlement. Do you agree with the uh, statement that if the commitment is present, you can have an agreement within weeks? It has happened before. Uh, in the four times I, I told you when I met with uh, my friend Begin, I asked him that let us agree upon a political directive to give to our ministers so that uh, 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 what uh, uh, is supposed to be achieved in months we can achieve in days or hours. You may remember that in the uh, treaty between Egypt and Israel, it was supposed that the process of normalization uh, will take place six months after the exchange of ambassadors. Well, in Aswan, I told uh, 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 Premier Begin, uh, 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 why should we wait six months? Why, should, why, why shouldn't we do it in six hours? In, in a month, all the, 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 the uh, process of normalization uh, has been completed instead of six months. For sure, if there is a political directive that is agreed upon between Begin and me and President Carter, uh, the agreement could be achieved in hours, not days. Is there a significant number of Iranians or pro-Iranians in Egypt that oppose your hospitality to the Shah? We have only in Egypt uh, about a hundred Iranian students and uh, ten out of them were against so we sent them to Khomeini. <laughs> if you were President Carter, what would you do about the hostages in Iran? I can't answer this question, you know. Qatar is a dear friend. And I always say that with the superpowers, 
uh, it is not uh, uh, the action uh, 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 that is needed, but the restraint, because the superpower can act in no time. They have all the, the resources and the possibility to do wonders. I have seen it myself. Uh, but uh, in such a problem like this, uh, 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 there are lots of repercussions either on our area or on the Gulf mainly or uh, in the uh, balance of powers in our area also, which is very important. Uh, after the, decision, the decisions two days before of President Carter, I think uh, you have started uh, action and all of us we're waiting this. What do you make of the present, present developments between Iraq and Iran and of the threats by the Iranian leadership to overthrow the Egyptian government? Well, there are lots who want to overthrow the Egyptian government. Not only the Iranians, Khomeini and the others, but uh, 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 the communists as a general rule uh, all over uh, the area and, uh, and the capitals in Europe. Uh, in the situation between Iraq and Iran, there has always been a dream for Iraq to be the, uh, uh, the leader or uh, the controller of the Gulf. This dream has always been impeached by Iran and the Shah and the power of Iran. After Iran vanished, Iraq now is trying to prove uh, to the uh, Arab uh, sheikhdoms on the Gulf uh, that Iraq is uh, uh, the leader or the controller of the Gulf, but I don't think uh, 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 they will reach uh, 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 any uh, uh, extent more than that uh, from uh, uh, small skirmishes or so. Uh, uh, I don't think they are ready to join in, in, in real action against Iran. Do you share the Shah's concern that one of the greatest threats to the Western world is an unbridled press is an unbridled press. <laughs> ah, myself, I, as you as you know, I have uh, uh, I have been the editor of our newspaper, Al Gumhuria in Egypt. But uh, let me tell you, fellow colleagues in all candor, that sometimes. Uh, the uh, 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 revealing of uh, a certain information that shouldn't be revealed uh, uh, does harm. For that, uh, let us hope that we can cooperate together, I mean the uh, press and the executive, and maybe you know that uh, the uh, that press in Egypt after the last plebiscite we had on the, on the treaty between Egypt and Israel uh, for which 11 million voted yes and 5,000 only voted no. In this same plebiscite, uh, 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 press will be uh, put in our constitution uh, uh, exactly as a power, a power of the state like the executive, the legislative, the judiciary. It will be the fourth power in the state according to our constitution. Press. Uh, 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 we shouldn't deny the, uh, uh, the influence of the press on every uh, one. What specifically is Egypt doing to aid Afghanistan 
And do you agree with President Carter's decision to boycott the Moscow Olympics? And will Egypt and other Arab states join in the boycott? Well, about helping Afghanistan, I, 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 I can't reveal anything. But let me tell you this. We are doing our best. Uh, maybe at some time to come we can uh, say this. Uh, regarding the uh, uh, Olympic Games, yes, we shall boycott it. Because this is a presidential election year in the United States, and there is at least a chance that we could have a new president, do you feel that a change in leadership would have any effect on the peace negotiations in the Middle East? Well, uh, it happened before. Uh, uh, the election of the president, this is the concern of the American people and whom they elect, we shall deal with. But it happened before, yes, when Ford left and uh, Carter took over. And uh, uh, this is something you must be proud of. When I met with President Carter for the first time on February 77, just a month after the swear-in, I found him completely briefed about the minutest detail. And we continued the peace process since then until uh, uh, nowadays. How do you describe your relations with uh, your southern neighbor, Sudan, which recently uh, opposed your peace treaty? Well, it is uh, for, uh, for uh, some difficulties, uh, especially economic difficulties that, Nim that uh, Nimeri is facing in Sudan, uh, and it appears that the other camp and the Arab world uh, 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 have given him aid, uh, so he started uh, uh, taking their side, uh, but he didn't severe the relations until now, and uh, uh, we shall not answer uh, any attacks from his side, uh, and uh, uh, let us hope that sooner uh, 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 it will be proved who is wrong and who is right. You were quoted by Joseph Kraft as saying that the future of the present Saudi rulers is not bright. That being the case, do you see an orderly shift away from a monarchy, a coup by another power group, or a general upheaval as a, in Iran? What has taken place really in Saudi Arabia and is called the Mecca incident is something that no one who knows Saudi Arabia and lives in the area could have believed. Me, myself, uh, if, I, if I was asked, I would have uh, answered that not before 20 to 50 years such an action like this could take place. Uh, but it is a small world now. Uh, yes, uh, there are a grave danger there in Saudi Arabia, but let us hope that they can find the ways and means to mend what uh, 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 the people com complain from. Who would you have represent the Palestinians? Uh, questioner says, you would denounce the PLO. Israel will not accept Arafat. Who then should speak for the pa Palestinians? Well, uh, uh, I should like to, 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 uh, to put you in the, in the full picture. In our negotiations, today for 
the full autonomy for the Palestinians, I am not speaking for the Palestinians, nor President Carter, nor Premier Begin, nor King Hussein if he chooses to join with us, uh, because uh, uh, of the very simple reason that they should speak for themselves. What we are trying now to do is uh, uh, to end the Israeli occupation and put them on, on the right road towards self-determination after five years of transitional period and uh, uh, in the process of uh, uh, full uh, autonomy we shall be having the representatives of the Palestinians round the table with us. I, I, when I say with us, I mean Egypt, the United States, and Israel, and King Hussein if he chooses to join. We shall have the Palestinians with us round the table, and this will be a great achievement, because uh, 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 there will come the second stage, or the next stage, w in which... We shall sit according to the Camp David Agreement uh, to decide upon the future of the Palestinians and they should uh, decide with us and agree or disagree and in the Camp David Agreement we have given them the veto. How do you regard the recent Israeli invasion in southern Lebanon? Well, it is a very sad uh, incident uh, that has happened uh, against the nursery there in Israel. And uh, we have condemned this on both sides, either from the uh, Arab side or from Israel. Uh, 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 this will not create the atmosphere for w w which we are after to solve the problem. If the Palestinian problem is resolved in a way that satisfies the Arab states, do you think a pro-Western regional security pact could be formed in the Arab world to counter Soviet expansionism? I don't exclude this fact. It is not only this, but also it will mean that the United States will have the support of 800 million Muslims all over the world. Not only our region, but 800 million Muslims. The United States has a $2 billion economic aid program in Egypt. What is it doing? Well, it is more than that. <laughs> In fact, let me seize this opportunity, really. And uh, express my people's and my gratitude for the help you have uh, uh, rendered to us. Last year, there has been a plot uh, 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 in which our colleagues in the Arab world tried to choke us economically and they cut the aid the aid was 500 million dollars uh, they cut the aid and it was the uh, the, uh, the money we used uh, for uh, 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 paying our installments and so but uh, 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 thanks to the United States and our uh, uh, United States in the first place and our friends in Western Europe also with the help of the United States uh, uh, we were able to overcome this uh, uh, we are now working on a giant project of three billion not two billion like he said three billion dollars cultivate intensive agriculture for half a million acres uh, as a, 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 an agro-industrial complex 
uh, for the first time in, in, in our part of the world according to, to the latest American technology and uh, it has been proved uh, uh, I mean uh, 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 successful because uh, the feasibility study has been completed and uh, the pilot project is there for everyone to see What do you feel uh, could be expected uh, if you make another visit to Israel? Well, I was told that uh, uh, Premier Begin was on the television today uh, uh, saying that uh, he is ready to come and address the uh, Egyptian assembly like I addressed the Knesset uh, in November 77 and that he is waiting the invitation uh, I have no objection. I have addressed the Knesset and he has the full right to come and address the uh, Egyptian assembly. Uh, but the whole matter started like this. I met with some Israeli editor last Wednesday and he asked me, he said, uh, why don't you come and uh, uh, address the Knesset and the Israeli people about the Palestinian question because we are living a dilemma there. This was his uh, question. Uh, uh, I told him, and it was right, that in, the, in my back mind, since two weeks before that, I was thinking of this uh, because uh, uh, they are in Israel, yes, living a dilemma of the, Palestine, uh, the Palestinian question. Uh, and they are divided among themselves and uh, uh, the peace process itself uh, is in danger so uh, uh, at some time I reached the conclusion, uh, conclusion that to ease my conscience I shall be asking to face the Knesset again and the Israeli people and put the details of the Palestinian question because uh, the Israelis are going to live with us until the end of the world. Well, they should know the facts of the area there and hear it and discuss it and reach their conclusion. Uh, uh, and before they hear those facts, one may feel that uh, uh, they can't uh, take the right decision. So, uh, uh, it, is, uh, it was my uh, idea that I go there and put all the facts before them and they have to decide after that. Before asking you one last question, Mr. President, I'd like to present you with a certificate of appreciation from the club and also a uh, National Press Club jacket. Thank you very much. <laughs> and for a last question, now that... Uh, Henry Kissinger is no longer Secretary of State and uh, is now an author uh, like you have been. How do you feel about him? <laughs> I met him uh, uh, yesterday evening. Uh, really the man uh, I shall never forget. Uh, we have started together the peace process in 1973 and uh, uh, the first impression he had on me as he told me afterwards when he was informed uh, on the 6th of October of the start of the October war he said very well uh, 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 we could have done business with this chap Sadat but uh, he would receive a hit much more better than the hit of 67 and we can do nothing uh, for him uh, uh, and uh, uh, as he told me uh, he conveyed the message to President Nixon at that time who was president uh, but everything has changed uh, since then for the first time he came to the area few days after the uh, ceasefire 
then uh, we had a three hours meeting together in the place where I uh, uh, have taken my headquarters there in Cairo and after one hour of discussion believe me I felt that I have knew this man uh, for years and years uh, maybe uh, 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 if I tell you how it came uh, 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 I was telling him uh, 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 we were prepared, we were putting the first touch for the peace process and this is the six points that we started with uh, which angered the Soviet Union and Syria and all the others uh, uh, and then uh, uh, when we put these uh, 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 these uh, points uh, 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 I told uh, we were discussing uh, the possibility of uh, 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 pushing the peace process after the six points and uh, uh, the uh, uh, returning the relations between uh, 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 the United States and Egypt because it was severe at that time uh, and uh, uh, during the discussion I remember a German proverb uh, I told him, I'm ready for peace, yes, but the difficulty with those people uh, in Israel is that, uh, uh, and I told, I told him half of the German proverb that says, whenever you give them uh, a finger, they grab the whole hand. Uh, well, I, I told him, uh, uh, when the uh, uh, declining finger gift he continued the, 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 the proverb to me, uh, to me and said Nehmen Sie gleich die ganze Hand this was uh, uh, the start of our uh, uh, friendship and the peace process 